In the previous video, we learned about how to open a bank account. Now let's talk about where to open a bank account. You can either open it at a bank or at a credit union. And to help us understand the differences, we have here with us today, someone who actually works at a credit union, Mrs. Judy Grinder. Hey Judy, how are you? I'm doing pretty good, how are you today? Pretty good, pretty good, thank you. So let's start from the basics. So what is the bank and what is a credit union? Like what is the difference? So banks are financial institutions that are licensed to provide financial services such as receiving deposits and making loans, but they also provide wealth management, currency exchange, safe deposit boxes. They are also structured in that they sometimes have different types of banks. So there's retail banks, commercial and corporate banks, and also investment banks. Banks are also insured by the FDIC and they are regulated by government entities such as the FDIC and the central bank. Credit unions, however, they actually do offer the same types of products in most cases, but they are actually a cooperative organization. So instead of having a set of investors who are people that might not actually be involved in the local community and the people who are using the services, they are actually part owned by those people who use the services. The other thing is that a credit union is a not-for-profit, which means that every dollar that the credit union earns has to go back to those who are using their services in some way. So we call them members and the members benefit by being a part owner of the company. So we have to send those profits back to the members by either improving the services that we offer, like the tech technology or offering more facilities, hiring more people to do work in the credit union so that it runs smoothly. Or we even give the funds back directly in some way where we make the loan costs lower or the deposit benefits higher. So if you are earning interest in your deposit accounts, it could be a higher rate. Credit unions often do tend to be smaller than banks, but there are very large credit unions as well and every size in between. They're usually organized or formed by corporations, organizations, or communities and that way everybody is connected by some specific item that they have in common. For instance, where you live or who you work for. And then, like I said, credit unions offer the same kinds of services as banks but usually it's just to that particular area or organization of people that have chosen to to be part of the credit union. That's awesome. Thank you for that. Wow. So what would you say is an advantage that banks have over credit unions? Like why would someone choose to open an account with a bank instead of a credit union? So as I said before, banks have a tendency to be larger because they have more assets and tools. Sometimes they can offer a wider variety of products. Another thing is that because credit unions require that you be connected to a particular group of people in some way, that means that not every single person in the country might be able to join that credit union. Although there are some credit unions that pretty much allow anybody, but that means that with a bank though, pretty much anybody can bank with the bank. And then some banks are big enough to have branches all over the country. So sometimes banks offer more accessibility to your funds. But the thing about that is that credit unions do offer that kind of thing. Many do because they partner with each other. And so they do offer sometimes the ability to go into a different credit union and use your account at that credit union, even if you're not part of that credit union. Another thing is that a lot of people think that banks can offer better technology tools and sometimes that is the case. However, credit unions have grown a lot in their technology options over the years and recently many credit unions can offer very similar or sometimes even better technology tools than banks. Oh wow, got it. So what would you say is an advantage to having a bank account with a credit union instead of having it with a bank? 
bank. Like, why would somebody choose to join a credit union instead of a bank? Their goal is very different than what a bank's goal is. As I said before, with banks, you are not actually investing in the bank by participating in using their services. But at the credit union, you are a member. So the credit union's goal is to make sure that everything that they do is in benefit for you. So they're always going to be looking for ways to improve your financial options. They're always looking to grow in their services and they love to provide more options for you whenever they can. The other thing is that your money will stay local in most cases when you use a credit union because many credit unions are location-based. And so, for instance, the credit union that I work for is focused on serving the people in our community and our state. And so everything we do is with an eye towards what the needs for our particular local economy, knowing that will make a difference. Another really cool thing about credit unions is that our goal is to make sure that people are prepared financially. And that includes education, just like things like this. So we're constantly going into the community and reaching out to everybody that needs to know more about how to do things well in their financial life, how to make sure that they are improving their financial picture. As I said before too, our profits have to go back to the members. So that's constantly going to give you usually better rates, better deposit rates so that you're earning more in your deposit accounts and lower loan rates so that it costs you less to get a loan. And finally, credit unions are invested in making people succeed. So sometimes people make mistakes in their lives and just because that happens doesn't mean that we aren't willing to help them. A lot of times if you make a mistake financially, a bank is gonna say, sorry, we can't help you. But a credit union is gonna look for any way that they can to help you succeed financially. And sometimes that even looks like us helping people who have really failed in their financial journey and giving them a second chance. So I really love that about credit unions and that they're always looking for ways to help people succeed financially. That is pretty awesome. I actually didn't know about that. That's amazing. So I've heard a myth that people believe that credit unions are not like as safe as a bank because like banks are insured by the FDIC. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? So you're right. A lot of people think that credit unions are not as safe as banks because of the FDIC insurance. And for a long time, credit unions didn't offer that kind of insurance. But then in 1970, credit unions realized that this was something that was very important to their membership. And so they decided to get together and work together again to create an organization that would insure the funds that are in their accounts. So they basically designed very similar programs program to what the FDIC offers. And the really amazing thing is that the organization called the NCUA that does offer this insurance is actually much more conservative than what the FDIC requires of banks. And so even if a credit union were to get into trouble, the NCUA is structured so that they are consistently making sure that their credit unions are financially sound and that they are using practices that will protect their ability to continue to offer services to their members. So no matter where you bank, FDIC or NCUA, you're still insured up to $250,000. And the NCUA does try to make sure that they match whatever the FDIC is offering. So if the insurance goes up with FDIC, it also goes up with the NCUA. Awesome. Well, Judy, thank you so much for all this great information. This has been great. It's been very enlightening for me and I really hope that for you guys too. Well, that's all we have for you today on banks versus credit unions. And up next, we're going to talk about the difference between a checking and a savings account. I'll see you there.